Hey guys, my name is Allison and welcome to my channel. Alright guys, so today we're going to talk about the social media outlets and just kind of everything that's available to us to help us better understand and grow further in our careers online. A lot of people always like talk trash about learning how to groom online and not that you should fully depend on learning how to groom online but there are so many great outlets nowadays on social media and on YouTube and on like all platforms, podcasts, like everything that are out there now to help you better do your job. So I want to talk about a couple of those Facebook groups, YouTubes, Instagrams, podcasts, just kind of real quick spill about them all and how they function. I want to talk about Programmer Network first. This is the largest group out of them all and um, it honestly is just like an a abundance of information for groomers like literally you can go in that group type in the search anything and I bet it's in there 800 times so I use that one a lot if I'm trying to find some feedback on like certain tools like people have always made comments on everything in there so you can find literally anything um, this group in particular is just for groomers um, you can only get into the group if you are a groomer and just a place for us to post our grooms, get critiques, ask for help, um, vent about clients. It's just an awesome Facebook group altogether. You have to request to be in the group and then once you get accepted you'll be able to kind of do whatever in the group. Read, comment, post stuff. Um, a lot of people will post for critiques and the main complaint when someone <sighs> is asking for advice on the people that are giving the advice our complaint is that your dog is not stacked and there's no way I can see what I need to see to give you a critique so if you're wanting a critique there's really special ways you can go about taking your picture to prepare it for other groomers to look at it and give you a critique you always want to make sure that your dog is stacked and if you don't know what that means look it up try and uh, figure that out and you want to stack your dog and make sure you're getting a like very straightforward picture so you want to have someone else take the picture for you or if the dog will stand there decently straight and stacked you can take one yourself um, but it's usually best done with a buddy taking a picture for you and then you can always take you know pictures directly of the head if you're wanting critiques on that whatever it is but most of the time people are asking for like overall profile critiques and your dog is like neck is like down here and its back leg and its front legs are like this and it's really hard to critique the haircut you've done when your dog isn't even standing appropriately for us to be able to know if it's just the dog is standing or if it's the dog's hair. So make sure you try and get your dog to stand as best as you can and like I said having somebody else help take that picture for you is definitely the best way to go about it. Another one is Groomers Uncensored. There's also uh, Groomers Uplifting Groomers, which is a really good one if you want critiques, but you're kind of scared of like the comments back and you can't take like harsh criticism. Um, they're really good about being really nice about <laughs> the way they say things. And there's I Love Colored Dogs, I think is the name of it for all of your dye jobs and all that fun stuff. So there's just tons and tons and tons of groups. So it's definitely a tool that you all need to take advantage of if you have Facebook. If you're new to the Facebook groups and you make a post for the first time, chances are you're going to go back to Facebook and find some friend requests. Every single time I make a post in one of these groups, I end up with like at least friend requests from people. Um, and that's up to you if you wanna accept them or not, but just to be aware, cause that definitely happens all the time. But if you are looking to make some new groomer friends, sometimes that's the best way to do it. 
There's tons of other ways to work on improving your grooming skills other than Facebook. I know we're talking about Facebook, but some other outlets are like YouTube, you know, um, we might not be going over actual grooming skills, but this is all grooming content related that's really helpful for you all. Um, there's a lot of grooming channels that are amazing on YouTube, and there are a lot of grooming channels that are terrible on YouTube. Um, so please scan through those carefully. Uh, one of the new ones that just started is the Groomer Society by one of my friends Josh Morales and he has some awesome work on there and some great content coming up so make sure you subscribe to that channel and check it out if you're looking for some help on some grooming input he is doing grooming how-to videos and everything so those are really really awesome and there's also some grooming podcasts coming up and about loyalty pet products is working on one as we speak I don't think they've got it completely up and running. They had a bump in the road, but they are getting that going for us. So I'm really excited because I think that's going to be the first grooming podcast that like there is in the industry. So that's going to be really awesome and uh, super, super excited. So shout out Lord's Pet Products for making that happen for us and always having our backs because you do for real. And like I've talked about before, just all social media in general, you can follow other groomers on Facebook. A lot of people post their work. Instagram is made for photos. So a lot of groomers have flocked to Instagram to be able to make like just a grooming Instagram account like I have. And you can post all of your stuff on there. People, I mean, if you ask for advice, they're going to, people are going to give it. They're, oh, people will always give their opinions. So just be careful which ones you accept. And and use social media to your advantage because in this day and age we have awesome tools like this and they didn't used to be available so definitely use that as a tool in your everyday learning that's really all I got today is super short and sweet but make sure you follow me on Instagram and I will keep you all posted as always on there when new videos go live and um, I'll probably be asking y'all for new content ideas soon. I really like to make sure I'm videoing what you all want to see. So you can always drop in um, messages and let me know if you have any ideas. I'm always open to them. And make sure you share and subscribe because the only reason I do these is for you guys. Um, I could be sitting on my couch watching TV right now, but I'm going to be editing this after I record it. So <laughs> make sure you share, please. It means so much to me to help get these videos out and help somebody that maybe really needed it. So always subscribe and just thanks always. So bye guys. See you all next week. <laughs>